All right, guys, we're back for another video, and today I'm going to be highlighting a product that I just found at my local Costco. Uh, seems to be a fantastic value, so we're going to be checking it out, and that is the Greenworks Pro Leaf Blower, battery-powered, 80-volt leaf blower. Now, I think they have it for like 260, and then I was just at Costco yesterday, and it was discounted even more, and I believe it was 219.99. So 220 bucks for this thing. Um, the good part about this is it comes with the battery charger and two batteries. Now, the batteries that it comes with, just to make sure. All right, so the batteries it comes with, it's two of them, and you get two 80 volt, two amp hour batteries. They're big, they're big units. Also comes with a charger. I have it, I have one of them plugged in over here. Uh, let me go ahead and grab it real quick, just so you guys can see it. Here's the battery. It's huge, right? 80 volts, huge battery, does have a power indicator. There you go, we're fully charged. The charger itself actually has a fan built into it because these are such big units, I guess, just to keep everything cool, has a fan in it. Um, let me grab a scale and let's weigh this thing just so we have an idea of just how heavy these batteries are because obviously it's nice that th th having these things cordless is super nice, but if they're super heavy, that's kind of a pain too. So let's get an idea. We're gonna be weighing this out this little scale here. All right, so here we go. I'm placing it on the scale and it is three pounds, 9.9 .9 ounces. So that is just the battery, three and a half, what was it? So yeah, just over three and a half pounds for the battery. So yeah, it's substantial. That's pretty heavy. But the fact that you don't have to hook up uh, extension cords and all that kind of stuff is fantastic. Now, the, the biggest issue that I had with battery powered ones is, am I gonna be able to get the power that I need from it? Now, everyone talks about the Ego uh, uh, battery powered uh, blowers, and yeah, they, it sounds like they are fantastic. This one, however, caught my eye because it's rated at 730 CFM, which is huge. Um, it's cubic feet movement, cubic, I can't remember exactly what the acronym is for CFM, but it's basically complete volume that's going across. And then it also has a 170 mile per hour wind speed. Now, I did a video in the past, um, I'll link that up here for you guys, and basically it was, what's more, impar more important when you talk about these blowers, CFM or miles per hour? What I came to find out was, you kinda wanna look at the combined total of the two. So you multiply your, your miles per hour by your CFM, and as long as it's above, or right around the 80,000 mark or above, you should be good. Um, that's basically, the ones I use, I typically are around 80, between 80 and 90,000. They're plugged in units. They work fantastic for drying off cars around the house. Everything else, they work fantastic. So this one, let me grab my calculator real quick. We'll, we'll see what the total is on these guys. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 730, which is our CFM rating, and multiply that by 170, which is our mile per hour rating. Wow, 124,000. So performance wise, I don't think we're gonna have any issues with this. It's just weight really that um, could be the determining factor. It does rate it at a 45 minute runtime. Um, it's equivalent to a 27 cc gas engine. So pretty, pretty, fantastic numbers. Let's go ahead and lower you guys down. We'll go ahead and unbox this thing. Now I did open it up and remove one of the batteries of the charger to charge it, but let's take a look at the rest of it. Okay guys, so here we go. Let's go ahead and open up the box. Right off the bat, you can see this little compartment here. This is where the charger and the battery were. And then you have a secondary battery underneath everything. So right away you have a little cone extension for the unit. Remove that. And then we have the unit itself right here. Obviously the cone extension just goes right over the top of this green button. Snap it into place. Good to go. Now, weight of this thing. Now, it's not balanced. You can see it's leaning all the way forward, but that's because the battery fits back here and that should balance it out a little bit. But let's go ahead and weigh this guy um, and see exactly how much total weight we're gonna be talking about. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this on the ground. So let me fire that on. Unit looks great though, by the way. All right, here we go. Try and get it to balance. Five pounds, 12.4 ounces. So if you add that to the 3.99, whatever, um, let me just grab the battery. We'll stick it in there and really get a total weight rating. So this just slides in, snaps into place. Very good. 
Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to see, oops, see how balanced we are. There we go. And pretty well balanced, guys. It actually points a little bit down, which is if you're working on blowing leaves around your house, that's really, really nice. It has this nice big platform on the bottom so you can rest it down and have it sit. It's very nice. Now, total weight is nine pounds, 6.3 ounces. So lugging around a 10 pound unit, I mean, it's substantial, right? It's pretty heavy. However, in the hand, it's very, very well balanced. Like it's not any issue at all. You can always hold it with two hands if you want. So as far as weight goes, 10 pounds seems like a lot to me. However, actual use case, it doesn't feel heavy. Like it feels balanced. It feels like it's going to be easy enough to use. So good to go there. So right here, you have the battery in the back. You can just hit this little trigger. It pops out and you remove it. Put it back in. You got to get it to sit over that. You hear it, oops, you hear it click in and we're good to, there we go. It's got to use a little force. Click it in there and you're good to go. Now we do have a turbo button. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Supposedly it's a progressive. So it is a progressive trigger, meaning you pull it a little bit, it just turns on a little bit. Now turbo, let's go ahead and pull, pull it to full power and then I'm going to hit turbo. It, it feels powerful, guys. Also, there's a locking mechanism, so once you compress that, you... Oh, interesting. You actually don't need to pull the trigger. You just do that. So depending on how you like to use it, you can do both ways. Let's jump into the box again, see what else it comes with. All right, so last but not least in the box is your other two amp hour battery. And nice, a little carrying strap. Um, let's see here, how would this go on? I don't know exactly where it goes. I'll have to look in the instruction, but that's nice. You can actually put this over your shoulder and work. So they take away the whole, my whole argument of it being heavy. Like I said, it doesn't actually feel heavy when you're carrying it, but with this it takes away that whole, whole argument. Actually, I already see. So you have this little hook and you have a little hook right here. So you go ahead and turn this around, just hook it on there, bam. And now you're good to go. Look, I mean, you can, and it stays pretty balanced. It's just hanging there, but it's balanced. Now you can just, fantastic guys, this thing's rad. This one, I think it might be a specific, might be specific to Costco because I went on Green, Green, oh my gosh, Greenworks website and we'll hop into, I'll show you guys the screen here. Um, but all I could find in an 80 volt was one that was rated for 500 CFM. I think it had a longer runtime and all that kind of stuff. This one's stating 45 minute runtime. However, um, and I'm assuming it's gonna be less if you hit the turbo button, but regardless, that's, that's a lot of time, especially since they give you two batteries. I don't have any concern there. Um, I just wanna make sure that the performance is good enough. So yeah, for that price, guys, the, the one on Greenworks' website, I believe is 280 or something like that. It comes with one battery. This one, is more powerful, you get the higher CFM, um, and less runtime, but probably because it's more powerful, um, but you also get two batteries. Now the batteries aren't cheap, battery and chargers are expensive. So at 220, this thing is a phenomenal value. If you're in the market for a battery powered blower, go get this thing at Costco, guys. Like It's a fantastic choice. Um, anyways, let's check the performance on it. Um, I've got my For uh, Ford Fairlane right behind me. I'm just gonna pour some water on it let some beads form on it and then blow it off and see how that works. So I'll zoom you guys in for that. All right guys, so I've just got my pump sprayer here full of water. I'm just gonna let the beads form on this panel. Again, this vehicle has been protected. Um, nothing crazy, I haven't ceramic coated or anything, but we're just gonna get a light coat of, actually let's get as many water beads as we can on there. And then we'll blow it and see just how fast the water movement is on it. So there you go. I don't know if you guys can see that very well or not. I'll zoom it in a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the blower. 
and I'm not going to use turbo yet. So here we go. I mean, that like instantly dries the panel. <laughs> Pretty incredible. It's definitely more powerful than the other two that I've used in the past, my plug-in ones. Uh, one of them is my Toro Power Jet right here. I love this thing. It works amazing for me. Um, but it is plugged. You have to plug it in. So this thing is unplugged. It's battery operated and it blew off everything so fast. So now we're going to go ahead and load it back up again. I'm going to turn the turbo on and see how much better it is. All right, guys, so we've got that loaded up again. Let me zoom you guys back in, see if we can get a good view of this for you. All right, there's the water. Okay, you can see all the water beads on there. I'm going to put the strap back on. We're gonna turn the power on and go to turbo and blow this thing out. Whoa, that wasn't cool. Make sure I'm good. Okay, we're good. Um, keep that in mind. My goodness, I don't even know where that went. All right, guys, so that may have been my fault, but this cone, the actual head of the thing, came flying off, and that is not cool because I can damage a car. So for me, <laughs> I'm glad it didn't damage my car, thank God. Um, but you want to make sure, I got just, it goes over this little piece here. But yeah, it's flimsy. There we go. It's on. I don't have a lot of confidence on, with that. So if, guys, if you are using this for your car, I would definitely recommend taking that off. Take that thing off. You don't want that blowing into your car, your customer's car, or anything else. So, um... I'm very happy that that happened on my own vehicle and that nothing actually happened. Very happy about that. Um, but just goes to show how powerful this thing is, it's just that cone is a no-go for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and, that wasn't a very good test, I'm gonna go load this back up again and then we'll blow it again. Okay, we're loaded back up, zoom it back in. There's my beads, power turbo button is pressed in and I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger and let's see. Yeah, guys, that's incredible, incredible, incredible. This thing's really awesome. All right, guys, now right outside my shop, I have a tree that loses a lot of leaves. So we're gonna go ahead and go out there. I'm just gonna do handheld and show you guys how this thing works on that. All right, here's the culprit. And here are all the leaves, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. So for performance wise, this thing is fantastic. Really, really good. Like I said, if you're using it on your car, take off that front cone because I don't trust that. But the fact that it dries the car so fast is incredible. Um, now, I don't know, let's just do a little fun little something or other here. Let me, let me set you guys up on a table over here. All right, so I have the unit on a little wheeled stool, wheeled chair. Let's just see if it... <laughs> cool. Yeah, that thing blows super hard. It works fantastic. I'm really, really impressed with it. 220 bucks. Um, I think they come with a... I, I think I saw on Greenworks' website that it was like a four-year warranty. Um, let me see on here if I can see it. Um, I don't see anything listed here right off the bat, but 
Regardless, it's available at Costco, so Costco's return policy is amazing if anything happens to it. Go buy one, guys. It's the weekend, time to get to work. Um, we're in the fall, so leaves are falling. This is a great piece to have. And then plus you can use it on your cars when you're, when you're uh, detailing them. So, so that's it, guys. Now runtime, I'm not 100% sure yet still, right? I didn't run this thing forever. Um, so we'll see with that. I'll update you guys. If I have any issues with the runtime, I'll comment it down below and I'll pin it to the top so you guys can see that. So just keep an eye on that. If you're interested in this thing, look down there. But so far, I am extremely, extremely impressed with this. Again, it's available at Costco. The return policy is amazing. It comes with two, two amp hour batteries, 80 volt, which is crazy power. Uh, so it, it's honestly, it's the most powerful blower that I've used. So I'm really excited to, to use this some more. So anyways, guys, please make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and please turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And that's it, we'll see you on the next one.